Okay, we say that today we'll be discussing about day seven, where we talk about the online collaboration tools. And we have said we're going to highlight some of the common tools that are used, one of which is Google Drive. And, and we have some other tools like Padlet, we have other tools like Mentimeter, but we are going to relay ourselves or concentrate ourselves on the use of Google Drive, which has a lot of applications that may be used in many areas to we as teachers uh, in collaborating, collabor making collaborations between ourselves, teachers and teachers, or between teachers and students as well. So Google uh, Drive is actually a file storage that stores files online, and of course it is developed by Google, and it allows us to be able to store a lot of files and folders on the cloud and actually it gives you about 15 GB free space for you to be able to store your files in the, in the, in the, on the internet. And therefore with Google Drive, you don't have to work with files and folders in your flash or in your computer. So you can be able to store everything that you want to store on the cloud and be able to access them anywhere where you are without killing all or any device that you need to carry with you. So basically when you speak of Google Drive, it gives you the capabilities of being able to synchronize all the files. So anytime you connect to the internet, it gives you synchronization. It, it synchronizes or connects all the files that you have been working from different devices to your particular, to the same drive and stores them. And anytime you work on the document or on a PowerPoint or on a spreadsheet, changes will be saved automatically onto your drive and you'll be able to retrieve them anytime you want to, to do so as time requires you to do. So it, it gives collaborative environment to be able to work together in a web document or in a PowerPoint document or in a power, um, spreadsheet document or even on Google Forms document. So all of which we're going to discuss on how best you can be, be able to do. So imagine you're a teacher and you have a project where you want your, your students to be able to collaborate on the same project. So maybe you have a group of five students in your class and you want to demonstrate on how each of the five students can be able to play part in working on, on an online environment collaboratively. So you, you say the first student will write introduction, the second student will write objectives, the third student will write uh, problem statement, the fourth student will write probably a research methodology, and the fifth student will write about something about um, budget. So each of them can be able to collaborate on the same document together and work together from different angles or from different parts or from different areas without seeing each other but working collaboratively provided that you can be able to have your internet connection. But again, with this Google Drive, it will give you uh, the ability to be able to view your files offline, especially when you, you work with Mac, Mac computers and Windows computers. But again, even smartphones with uh, Android or iOS operating systems for you to be able to work anytime in an offline environment. So let us now start working on the uh, applications found in Google Drive that will be allowing you and see, allowing you to be able to see how you could be able to collaborate with your, your students or collaborate, make collaboration between the teachers and teachers. Suppose you are teaching maybe geography from three, four different teachers, three, four different regions of, uh, different schools of your regions. One is coming from Ologoro town, probably. Another one is coming from Kirobero district. Another one is coming probably from uh, maybe uh, some other places of Morogoro. You could be able to collaborate, work together, and share ideas, and then in the end you, you come up with a document that is actually highlighting what you're doing at one time. So here I'm going to demonstrate on how we, we could be able to use all these tools to help us be able to work in an on, online environment and be able to collaborate in any way that you could be able to do that. So let's see how it works.